Ladies and gentlemen, I'm finally back for another video. I haven't done a video in like two months, but I finally got in some DVDs. So this is a movie haul and um, well, there's a stack of videos that I got. And without, I guess without further ado, let's just, uh, let's just jump into it. So first up is Batman The Long Halloween Part 1. Now part one, now part two have been out for a while. I just haven't picked it up yet, um, but I will. I love The Long Halloween. I have uh, the trade, I have the noir edition, and I have the absolute. And of course I had to pick up the uh, movie version. Obviously, the, uh, yes, yes, this is volume. Part one, volume one, everyone see it. Part one of two. Um, like they did with the Dark Knight Returns movie. This will be in two parts. We'll take away this dust jacket, you could call it, I guess. Eh. Let's try to take it away anyway. Let's have a look at that. Um, it's really good. Obviously, I can't see anything else in that. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm just gonna have a digital digital edition as well. I have it tonight, watch a digital edition. But, uh, I recommend it, it's, it's really nice, and uh, can't wait to pick up volume two, part two, and watch that. So, Batman The Long Halloween, part one. <clears throat> then we have a Chinese movie called Black Coal, Thin Ice. It's a crime uh, thriller suspense movie. Um, this actually won the very, actually, actually very, very prestigious Berlin International Film, Film Festival Golden Bear Award for Best Movie and Silver Bear Award for Best Actor in 2014. Now, uh, I just got this last week, so I haven't watched it yet, but I'm really looking forward to watching it. it just seems like a damn good movie. And obviously, when you win uh, such high awards and high praise how can you go wrong with that so black coal thin eyes the chinese movie moving on with the asian movie genre we have a korean movie called a record of sweet murder which is an awesome title by the way it's a very different title and by the way, I haven't watched any of these movies that I'm showing you, except for the Batman movie. I haven't watched any of these movies yet. Uh, okay, so this is about a film crew or journalist who takes a, 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 a cameraman to find this murder, murderer, I should say, who, who has at least 12 bodies, but he claims he needs to kill 27 to get another soul back or something it seems like a very cool it's done like found lost you know the found footage lost footage uh, genre but also suspense and thriller and whatnot and looks really really cool and i'm really looking forward to to uh to watching this so a record of sweet murder and we have another uh chinese movie these actors this is Battle of Memories, about the, this guy who has false memories implanted and it's like he remembers a, a murder that he hasn't committed. So it's like, looks, it seems to be a very cool movie and I'm really looking forward to this one as well. Then we have a very special movie. This is Crazy Samurai 400 versus 1. This is one of those unique movies that is made, that is actually made in one take. We don't see a lot of movies because it's very, very difficult to make movies in just one take. It takes a lot out of the director and every, you know, everybody involved, film crew and the actors, of course, to make a movie in just one take. That's a, a, a great undertaking. And I think this, this movie caps in around, uh, there we go, 87 minutes. It's almost an hour and a half. 
It's pretty damn impressive, and considering that it's a fighting movie, it's a samurai movie, it makes it even more special. <clears throat> so it's about Musashi Miyamoto, the Japanese icon, legend, you know, there's so much said about Miyamoto as a historical important person in Japanese history. And so it's about him. Finally, a trilogy. This is the Infernal Affairs Trilogy. Infernal Affairs 1, 2, and 3. So if you ever, if you saw the movie The Departed with Mark Wahlberg, Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, um, Jack Nicholson, which won an Oscar a couple, few years ago, that movie was based on this, this trilogy. And you can actually see that. That inspired the departed. So uh, I didn't know that. I had no clue. And I saw this, they had this trilogy, and uh, heck, I couldn't wait for it. So once again, really looking forward to watching this. I'm really looking forward to watching this trilogy. I have a, a, I'm on a vacation currently for a week now. So I'll be home Friday to Friday. So I'll have a, Time to watch these movies. I'm really looking forward to watching these. As I said, here's what I got. Infer Infernal Affairs, the trilogy. Crazy Samurai 400 versus 1. Battle of Memories. A Record of Sweet Murder. And Black Coal, Thin Ice. Also, Batman, The Long Halloween, Part 1. I did watch a couple of movies. Last night I saw Peninsula, which is the follow-up to Train to Busan, the Korean horror movie, the Korean zombie horror movie, or yeah. And it was really good. It was just as good as Train to Busan. <clears throat> and I saw somewhere, I think on IMDB, that they're making a remake of uh, Train to Busan. I, which seems weird because Train to Busan just came out. I don't know, you know, IMDb can post a lot of stuff of movies, but maybe it's an American remake, who knows. Train to Busan is awesome. Peninsula is also awesome. And I, last night I also saw Capone, the, the movie with uh, Tom Hardy and Lena Cardellini. It's not a movie for everyone, and I really recognize that. I really understand it's not a movie for everyone. But I really like it. It was a different movie, but I think it was shot great. Tom Hardy uh, puts on an amazing performance. So, uh, yeah, you know, Tom Hardy can seem a little out there, a little weird, a little strange. Uh, so it's a type of movie, it's a type of role that fits him really great. And, um, yeah, I think, I think you will enjoy it. I also saw a couple of weeks ago Infinite with Mark Wahlberg. That that was a waste of time. That was damn what a shitty movie. That was so bad. Infinite. Don't watch it. Less said about it, uh, the better. Um, I also saw Black Widow just the other day. That was a fine movie. Um, I really didn't care about it. Um, I was just a movie. I've seen it. I don't need to ever see it again. But if you like Marvel movies, and I do, I'm a huge Marvel fan, I'm a huge comic book fan, as you know. Um, I, yeah, I have to see it, and I have. But uh, was it great? No. Do I need to buy it on like Blu-ray or anything? No. It's on Disney Plus, so that's fine. That's what I've been watching of late. Uh, I'm gonna watch A Quiet Place two in the next couple of days and uh, me some of these movies as well and um, right now on my TV I'm watching uh, Justice League Unlimited it's uh, I got nothing better to do right I don't feel like watching it I'm also watching a uh, re-watching for like the fourth time uh, the television show Lost which is my all-time favorite television show and I'm as I said I'm I'm Rewatching it again I'm on season four right now. Loving every minute of it. It's, it's on DC. It's on Disney Plus. <clears throat> so 
that's what I've been up to. That's what I'm doing. Um, I had another movie, but it was out of stock, not a print, and I don't know when it will arrive again, but it was another Chinese movie, actually, that has you know, middle of the type of psychological fantasy movie. Uh, don't know when that will come in, but that will be another video. Um, until then, I don't really have any new movies or books incoming, but I do have some things that I want to do with uh, more videos. So, uh, well, uh, hopefully, <clears throat> keep your eye out and hopefully I'll be back uh, during uh, next week. During next week, I'll be hopefully we'll do a couple of movies, a couple of videos for you. Uh, give me a thumb up, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and uh, until next time, see you all again. Oops, I'm violent with my movies. I almost co committed a record of sweet murder. No. Anyway, until next time, see you again. Bye.